What's going on, guys? And welcome back to Satisfactory. Last time, we had all this craziness happening with trucks and things and... Yeah. <laughs> so I wanted to do something about it. I wanted to get this, delete it, and then built this instead. So yeah, I bet you could never, ever in a million years guess what this is. Never, ever guess what it might be making. In fact... You would never get it, literally. So let me tell you, it's making bottled water. Typical, right? Typical. Um, but just to let you know, this project was being built before 1.0 got announced. So before anyone goes in the comments and starts saying, Bits, you wasn't doing any more bottled water. Well, I am. I had to do it for this project. It was already underway. This is the last project I was talking about in that video. So... Yeah, this is the last ever water bottle project. Water, but my lips are getting in the way. Water bottle project. And then we're going full throttle with the next project, which is already under construction, by the way. So all of this right here just literally replaces all the trucks that we have. We have, uh, is it 19? I think it's 19. I'm pretty sure it's not. Wait, let me go down here and find out. It's definitely not 27. Wait, why is my filter not working? Hello? Fil why is my filter keybind not working? That'd be why. It's not set to my default. It's not 20. I think it's 19. 19? We're going to go with 19. But um, I didn't want to show you how we built all this because we built it multiple, multiple times. But I got a blueprint, got fluid, packaging. Wait, where's it gone? Um... Oh, sh just, just, oh, f <laughs> um, bit of a word of warning, guys. Whenever you reset your PC to back to factory reset and make sure you back up your files because I've lost all my blueprints. Ah! What a spoon. What a spoon. God damn it. So ugh, I reset my PC today before I did this recording. I do it every year, but I didn't back up my word of warning, back up your flipping saves or anything. Well, I guess um, I I was going to, like I said, going to give you these blueprints so I can you can just kind of smash these out instantly. Um, but I guess I won't be doing that now. Um, so maybe I will do it for another video, I guess. So I'm going to have to build them again. And something I did with it, because I built a refinery blueprint as well. Oh, boy. I guess I'll rebuild it again for this video. And I, Do you know what? I'll rebuild it again for this video, and then you guys can have it. All right? I'll, I'll just do that. I'll just do that. That's the best thing, right? And then all this bottled water will go from, well, here, all the way down there into that. And it kind of looks fascinating. But I'm not going to lie. I've seen this moving, and it looks pretty insane. It looks like I'm playing Frogger because you get to avoid stuff. Because it's not going to be running efficiently. Because as we know, with the Caterium plant we built, it is uh, 600 per minute, right? So we're bringing in six, eight lines of 600 Caterium and eight lines of 300 Caterium. Them 300 lines will get um, up to 600 when we get Mark III miners. So right now, what we're going to do is we're going to build a refinery setup, which is going to support a 300 line and a 600... Well, sorry, all of them 600 lines. So we're going to need to do... 19 lines of 600. Right? But before we get to that, I'm actually going to build this bloody blueprint. So then you guys can see how I made it, and then I can give it to you guys. So remember, join the Discord below. It's literally in the bits blueprints under my tab uh, and all that stuff. Uh, so all you need to do... I've not even installed Discord on this PC yet. I've not, even, I've not even installed Discord on this PC. Go to Discord. Download for Windows. Sign in with the QR code. Log in. Bada bing, bada bosh. And then, as I was saying, you go to the choose your role section. Choose the bits. Uh, little melon here. And then under the uh, blueprints are literally here. So here's the other ones as well. And then by the time this video goes out, there'll be another one with the water and the refineries attached as well. So... Yeah, I'm not going to show you how I did that blueprint because after all of that, I've just realized it wasn't this one I blueprinted. It was another water thing I used for the refineries over there. 
So, yeah, you're not getting this one because I did all this by hand. So, I guess over to the refineries. <laughs> this video is just a mess. It's just a mess. There's so much stuff going wrong. And why did I reset the PC just before I did recording today? Because, like, everything's everywhere. Even before I started this recording, I was sorting out my OBS, making sure all my audio's fine, making sure all my recordings are fine, making my file directories are fine, making sure my editing software is fine and my folders are correct. It, uh, yeah, okay. You know, but I, I'm, I'm a professional content creator. You know? <laughs> anyway, refineries. So... I've got up, got back up here and I've started to build these, right? I've started I've started to I'm I'm not going to lie to you. I started to build these on the on the the thing is uh I can't even English now. Um the, I started to build the bits. I, <laughs> my brain has just gone all fluffle fluffle because of this all this that is going on. Right. Anyway, water. I didn't do this. I, I, I'm, I'm getting a blueprint out. I'm, I'm, get, I'm getting a blueprint out because I didn't do it. As, I, I, I started building it manually. And then I got halfway through and I was like, this is annoying. I'm going to put a blueprint. So I'm going to show you how we do a blueprint, okay? I think I got a spat on my glasses by accident. There's, uh, there's a water spot on my glasses now. <laughs> there's actually a water spot on my glasses. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's one of them days. One of them days. <laughs> right blueprint i'm trying to remember how i did this now because what i think i did what i think i did is what did i do i did that did i get it going into one or two i got it going into pipes i think it was just a three three gap i think all i did i, I can't even remember it was literally was it yesterday i was doing this i think i put you there with another one next to it and then i put this literally symmetrical on the opposite side like that yeah 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 we're onto it we're onto it and then i got a merger on this side facing towards me like so and then i got normal splitters on the input side like so and then over here what i did was i got some pipeline support built them up by two on either side here then I got my pipe, stretched it along the middle. I have no copper. I need to go and get some copper. <laughs> come, 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 come. Come here, golden shaft. Yes, we have the golden shaft. Now we slide, fly, zoom past the quartz plant. And then around the corner over here, there should be some storage where we have excess copper sheets coming from... Aha! From the, uh, the, um circuit boards and i've got no room oh my god all them empty canisters be gone give me copper sheets then i put a train down we zoom back to the the plant i was building and then we get back to building the pipes so we put one there and one there like that then we grab ourselves our junk junctions place you there place you there and there and then we're just going to connect them up. Make sure I put the junction there as well. Connect these other two up. Then I'm going to remove these ends like this. And then I'm going to remove them ends. So now we have this in the middle. And then on this side, we're going to make sure we have a Mark V belt attached there. And then put down the splitters on the other side. And then put a belt in there. Oh, and then I guess make sure the belt, the machines are connected up also. And once that's done, all we need to do is then connect the powers. So these are kind of like semi-connected. So we're going to grab ourselves a nice little cheeky road barrier. We're going to line that up with that power outlet. Then we're going to get a wall. We're going to hold control, place that there. Zoop that up. Place the wall behind that. Just like this. Connect our wall connected to there. Wall connected to there. Connect them two together. Remove the walls. Now... They're kind of, you know, connected. They are. They won't, obviously won't be powered yet. We do the same to this side. Again, just a road barrier. Zoop a wall up. Take the wall behind them. So they are kind of semi-daisy chained. Remove the move the wall in again. And then Bob's your uncle. Fanny's your aunt. So now these are all connected. All the thing we need to do is just assign the recipes, which these are going to be unpacking water. So unpackaged water. Uh, and then we are going to be overclocking these. So we're going to put them up to... You know, to 300 right there. I'm going to be 
all that. So we're going to do 300 water per each line. We're bringing in 600. So that's fine. We're going to copy them settings. And we're then going to go over here. We're just going to paste. Oh my God, my key bindings for paste isn't working. So we're going to go control V instead. Control V. Control V. And normally I set it to my mouse. So my top buttons on my mouse is control V and control C. It's so much easier for satisfactory because I can just run along and just go. Brrrap. You know what I mean? Brrrap. <laughs> So now that's done, that's connected. I think we're all good there. And I don't think I created a flip version of this. I think it's literally just this. And then once that's done, we can then go to here. We're then going to call this a new blueprint. We're going to call this uh, uh, unpackage, uh, unpackaged water. Uh, we're going to set a directory. We're going to go into fluids. We're going to add the blueprint now. Do that. No, I don't want to edit. I want to apply chip. What am I doing? I want to come out of this. I want to select the icon. And I want to do uh, ports, water, pipe, select image, and save. I think that's done. Now we hit Q, blueprints, fluid, packaged water, boom, and done. Now we have this. So I'll go back to the blueprint, clear the designer, remove this, and we're done. I was if, if, like I was gonna build like five and then five on this side because they do they do uh, the normal recipe does 120 right. So what I was gonna do instead is build five of them to make 600. But I decided to do two and then overclock them to you know so 300 on each side, which is two 600 lines in the middle. So now what I've done is I've started to extend the foundation here and start bringing the cotillium around the corner. So what I've done is I've removed. You know, all the resource sinks that we had to stress test all of this. And we have to remember that eight of these lines are going to be uh, with 600 on. And eight of these lines are going to be with 300 on, as specified by the storage sign. So 600, 300. So when I place down these refineries, because if we go up here and look at the refinery, we're going to be using the alternate pure caterium ingot, which requires 24 caterium and 24 water. And as you know, if we do 600, because there's 600 water coming in on a water pipe, we have a 600 um, caterium coming on a pipe. 600 divided by 24 is going to be 25. So we need to place down 25 refineries in each line for every line. Yes, and that in does include the 300 lines as well, because as stated at the beginning of the video, I will be upgrading them to, th to 600 once I get Mark III miners. And I might as well just kind of make all of this 600 lines ready for when that happens is that are coming back later on and then adding that extension on it kind of makes sense so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring the pipes from down here specifically not that height i'm actually going to grab remove that quickly grab that one and we're going to bring it up let's say up by two and then up here like this yeah and then what i'll do is i'll get the refineries i will build 25 of these all the way down here Whoa. and then have the water going from the top side and then i will have the caterium going in from down here into a manifold line but i stated i did a blueprint for this as well and this requires two blueprints because one we're going to need and one coming down this way and then we're going to need a flipped refinery as well because i'm going to need a flip one because if we flip this this way and have the input on this side you know everything else flips so I need to put a splitter on this side and all that kind of jazz, you know, and make sure that they go in the right way. So again, let's put a blueprint machine down, jump on it. And then what we're going to do is just going to grab ourselves a refinery. We're going to throw this in the middle and make sure it's in the middle like so. We have the output on this side. Did I put the output on this side? It doesn't really matter, does it? Because it's going to get flipped anyway. So I didn't set that way. Yeah. I'm just going to do it just to make sure I'm not being a spoon again because I've been a spoon all bloody day. So is that in the middle? Yeah, that is in the middle. So what we need now is we need to make sure that there's going to be a um, splitter coming towards us from the output of this. And then we're going to do that with a Mark V belt. Wait, a merger. <laughs> we're going to need a merger to come from the output like that. Done, dusted, and that's all we need to do on that side. And then what we're going to... Actually, no, we need to do the power on this side as well before we get ahead of ourselves here. So we are going to put a power cable up here. So I'm just going to line you up here does it really matter where as long as the barrier is in the right place we're gonna get ourselves a wall again Eh, wall control zoop it up take you along it's actually one f extra step out i misplaced it so we're gonna put that there instead take you up take you there take you behind that and then we're just gonna place you right there like that remove these walls now like so 
and we leave that node right there. So when we attach the other ones together, we can then just string the power connector to the other power connectors from the blueprint. So this is the front side done. The next thing we want to do is we want to add the um, water pipe. So we're just going to grab ourselves a pipeline support. If I'm not mistaken, we're going to put down the splitter here. because this I put this out one further away, if I remember correctly. So we need the splitter, say, here. And then I added the pipeline support there. And then we're going to grab ourselves a Mark II pipe. We're just going to take this across. It doesn't really matter where the pipes are going because they're going to get deleted in a second. And then we're going to go into here, grab ourselves a junction, hold control, make sure it snaps to that entrance, put it on an angle like that, then remove the pipes like so. Make sure that is connected with a belt and then a pipe set to noodle by pressing R like that. That is literally it, I believe. And then we're going to go into here, assign the recipe like that. We're not going to do any overclocking on these. Um, otherwise, we'll have to put it down to 12.5 uh, refineries in a row. So all that kind of good stuff. So uh, that is all we did for this. And then we save that, which will be a pure Caterium. It's going to be a normal recipe. So we're going to select the icon. We're going to do Caterium. And then that's that done. Set directory. Did I not? I'm pretty sure... I thought I did a category. Oh, constructor. Did I do it in constructor? No, maybe I didn't. I guess I'll just do it in undefined right now and add it there. And then, oh, do that. And then we're going to save blueprint. And then next, what we're going to do is with that being said and done, let's just quickly clear this. So clear the designer, remove this, and then go into our blueprints, put the pure criterium down so we can see that it's this. Have I put them? Yeah, that way. Okay. So now I'll just line this up here next to this one. So I'm going to make a new path just because it obviously won't snap to this one, right? So if we press H, make sure it's all locked into place. And then we're actually going to move all of this over so we can change the uh, change the position of this. So we're going to do that. We're going to place it there. And we're going to remove this one now because we don't need this one. Keep that there. But then all we need to do is just grab this, aim at this, press R. So it changes the blueprint mode. Press the middle mouse button. It copies the whole blueprint. Then we're going to change to the blueprint mode again and then hold control. And then all we need to do is just snap all of these blueprints together. And all this is going to do really is just going to save us time by not placing the splitters down separately, these pipes. And then also around here, as stated before, we just need to get these little, oh my God, get these little connectors and just connect these up to each of these and then grab one of these and then take it underneath and uh, create a little more five belts. And then connect it underneath. I'm not going to do it because it's pain in my ass right now. So that's that done. And then we need to create a blueprint. And all we need to do is make sure that these are flipped. Because when I do it this way, we need to make sure that merger, uh, the splitter on the right hand side and the merger are rotated. So we're going to grab ourselves the blueprint again. The, where is it? Special blueprint designer. Place that down. We're going to load up that other one. So we're going to load the blueprint, pure criterium. And then all we're going to do is... Grab this splitter, grab that, quickly remove that belt as well. And then we're going to grab this merger and that belt. We're going to get ourselves another merger, face it that way, put a belt in. And on this side, we're going to grab ourselves a splitter, face it that way. Wait, wait a minute. Did I, did I, yeah, yeah, no, we're fine. Yeah, 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 we're fine. I thought I did it, I did it the wrong way. So then we connect them back up. So that split is then coming this way. The merger should be facing towards me. Yep. And then we're going to here. And then we're going to save this as pure Caterium bracket flipped. And then we're just going to set the directory. We will add it there for now. And then we click the X up there. Save blueprint. Clear designer. Remove that. And then if we go up here, press F on this. Press R again to show it blueprints. And now if we hold E, we can now see pure Caterium and pure Caterium flipped. So we want the flipped version and with the power of the locking, we're going to make sure it's set to default by hitting R again. And then here, we're going to wait for the green line and then we're just going to press H. That's all we're going to do. Then we're going to use the arrow keys and we can start lining all of this up to where it needs to go. I just realized I did these blueprints wrong. <laughs> because I remember correctly, just thinking about it now, I put the outputs out further and then these together. So originally, yeah, yeah, yeah. Originally, it's, it's meant to go... Wait, no. Have I done it right? I might have done it right. Have I done it right? Wait, hold on. So I, I can't remember. So I put these closer together because technically these will be end up like this. Touching each other, right? 
But I guess it all depends on... It's, it's the foundation I placed it on. I think I actually did it right. No, I did do it right. Yeah, I, I don't know. I've lost it. But anyway, let's just line them back up. But wh what's confusing me is, is because I've not put this uh, refinery here. Um, that merger right there. Well, that splitter, sorry. is meant to go literally on the left of this foundation here. Then this one will slide onto that piece right there. And it will all match up. So, yeah, I did do it right. It's just me being a spoon. So, you can see where I'm kind of going with this now, right? So, you kind of place that one down. And then make it just basically make sure that's the right way. And then snap that along there. And then all the... You can even tell. I've not even lined that up there. You know what I mean? But still, that's that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to skip to the actual version that I actually did and show you what I mean. Okay? Right, so here you go. You can see this is a lot better. So here's the blueprints I placed down of the uh, the water. They're all being collected underneath. And then all you need to do once you place these is just put down the lifts uh, to go underneath and then the lifts for the insertion of the um, bottles. And as always, you've got to make sure that these bottles here that get consumed into this machine go back to the same fillable um, water packages that are going to be packaging these waters right here. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of problems. Trust me, when I was building this on the Twitch streams, there was a few times where I crossed the lines, especially on that build over there, where a belt was accidentally going into a splitter by accident on a manifold line because it was next to each other and all that kind of shenanigan. The pipes then come along here. They go into a little bit of a pump, which technically not needed, but I'm doing it just to make sure it's uh, safer. And this is what I mean as well right here by it just being, this is a blueprint. Obviously, I can't tag it as a blueprint right now because this is an old one because I deleted it, right? right? So I can't even highlight these blueprints anymore, um, which is unfortunate. But um, yeah, so they all go down there in a manifold criterion going in. Uh, and you will be able to see that some of these lines are not 100% uh, like some of these are because I believe these are 600. I think it's the fourth line. So this is one, two, three. This line right here should be the one that should be half filled. Yeah, you can see yellow lights down here and yellow lights down here. Because that's obviously, um, there's only 300 Caterium going into these refineries, uh, which we will fix when we get more at three miners. And then we put all of these down using the blueprints. I think this took me like two days on the Twitch stream to get all this done, uh, make sure it's all lined up. And you can see some of the empty lines. Again, that's the 300 ones. Um, so, yeah, that is up and running. And if we go to the opposite side of this, we can see that I'm doing my usual methods of making sure that all the outputs are connected before we move on to the next part of the project by stress testing them. Uh, and for those that don't know, I like to stress test all the checkpoint, like certain checkpoints throughout the build to make sure that things are running smoothly, make sure that things are just operational. So we've got all of these connected up to sinks. Uh, and just make sure that all these are, the ore is not backing up the waters. There's no problem with waters uh, and all that kind of stuff. Because I don't want to build something like over here with the quick wire and everything, only to find out there's a problem with these. Then I've got to rip everything out and all that kind of stuff. So if you're a problem, the person that makes a lot of mistakes, this is a good method for you uh, as well. Because I do it all the time, many hours in the game, and I still make mistakes, as you tell by today's video. Been an absolute mess. <laughs> And yeah, it's going to be a little short and sweet one. I'll make sure I'll put these blueprints into the Discord. So if you want the blueprints, you might need them. You might not want them. Or you can just build them yourself. Uh, they'll be in the Discord ready for you, uh, for you to download. Uh, and uh, next time, we're going to be working on circuit boards, working on high-speed connectors, uh, and all that kind of good stuff. So check out my other content right here. And as always, keep bloody smiling, and I'll see you in another video.